Good morning, my loves. It's the 21st of September and it's Natalia going live with you. As I said, I would every day this week. This week of the full moon in Pisces. So we had the full moon in Pisces yesterday or in the very early hours of the morning here in the UK. It's like one o'clock in the morning, something like that. And I'm just intrigued to hear how you got on with the full moon, what came up for you, did anything emerge, did you get any important insights, did you have any important things that came to fullness, completion or endings for you? I would really love to know um, what your experiences of the full moon have been. For me personally, I completed a really important project that is very dear to my heart yesterday and um, I was able to sign it off. So um, I don't want to be too cloak and dagger with it and too mysterious, but that is the whole kind of ethos of the Pisces full moon, right? Mystery, mysteriousness. And I want to tell you about this, but I don't want to tell you until I've actually got um, the thing in my hands and I'm showing you. Because there's nothing worse than, you know, giving you drips and drabs of something. I need to show you and um, demonstrate this to you because it is something pretty special. But it's coming soon. You will be able to pre-order it, that's all I can say, and it's fabulous. It's probably one of the best things that I've ever created. I'm very, very proud of it. So anyway, good morning, everyone. Um, how are you doing? Very nice to see you joining in already, 11 of you. And um, we've got some lovely little messages from the flower therapy cards and the miracle of trees, but I'll explain that later. So good evening to Nicole South. And good morning to Jane McGuinness and Barbara Phipps. Elaine Sago, good morning to you, my darling. Good morning, Shal Javat. How are you doing, sweetheart? And Francis Kelly, you had a strange dream and you had words with two people. Do you know, I had a dream I was arguing with somebody the other night. Isn't that, isn't that bizarre? It's, um, it's not nice, those kind of dreams, are they? Unless you're saying something that you wanted to say. Um, I was arguing with a complete stranger that I've never met, or don't even, that doesn't even exist. So that was that was weird. Um, <laughs> so I hope you're feeling better. Anyway, I hope it's helped. Good morning to Jill Scales. How are you doing? Cheryl Penner is watching. Good morning. You had weird dreams as well, Nicole. Wow, you're trying to uh, a trying day at work. Oh, bless you. Well, hopefully tomorrow is better. Thank you so much for the stars. Good morning, Laurie Fantasia. If you want to send stars, very, very grateful for those. You'll see the little stars icon at the bottom. It helps keep me going. It helps to support this page because it does take a lot of work and I have to buy a lot of stuff for it. Good morning to Robin Steele and Francis Kelly and Sharon Smith. Amanda Kavaka is watching as well. Laurie said, is this the Pisces Full Moon Support Group? I feel like it should be. <laughs> Linda MC is here as well and Linda Gibbs. All the Lindas coming in at once. Hi everyone. How are you doing? I've got 18 of you so if you haven't popped a comment in the comments box then do drop me a line and say hello and let me know how the full moon treated you. I think it's been very kind to me so far and we've got a desk for Estella to work from as well because um, she's going to be doing her master's um, in psychology at home and um, she's going to be traveling to Liverpool but she's commuting she's not going to live there she's going to sort of base herself here which I'm very happy about you know me I'm very always happy to have my beautiful girl around Tina Jones is here thank you for the stars Amanda you are so kind so these are the messages that we're going to be um, getting from the flower therapy oracles by Robert Reeves who is a darling he's Australian you Australian ladies might know him. Love the frog. Well, you know what? I'm feeling zen. I'm feeling very zen today. So I thought zen frog, who normally sits in my bedroom on my bed. I have a tray that I put on my bed with crystals and things. And so he's normally on there. And I thought, oh, I'm going to bring him down. He, need, he can join us this morning and make us all feel zen after all of the turbulent full moon emotional stuff. Thank you so much for the stars, Nicole, you are amazing. And um, <laughs> thank you for the stars, Barbara um, Phipps, you are a, a goddess, as always, thank you. Um, Monique, hello, good morning to you. And um, good morning to, 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 
Have I said hello to everyone? I think so. Sharon's saying that you had um, extremely emotional full moon, nightmares the other night, feeling calm enough. Yeah, the nightmare thing seems to be a theme, doesn't it? Lucy Blacksy, good morning to you, love. I haven't seen you for a while. I hope you're well. So, shall we get some lovely messages this morning? Now, I bought this lovely sticker book for my inner child program and I thought, have you used the stickers? So our little choices today for one, two and three are, are you feeling like a pineapple today? You little pineapple. Are you feeling a little ice cream, ice cream cone? Or and that's number two. And number three, are you feeling like a cactus? Are you feeling the cactus love? Good morning to Kane and good morning to Fiona. How are you doing? Good to see you. Karen Williams has just come in as well. Okay, so one, two or three for a lovely little message from the little stickers and the flower therapy cards. So I'm going to begin with the stickers, first of all, because each one has a little meaning that I feel, felt channeled, came through this morning. So if you're feeling the pineapple, pineapple love, like Laurie is, then this little pineapple is saying to you that there is um, the sharpness before the sweetness in life, right? So you know how you have a pineapple and it's a bit kind of like makes your eyes water when you eat it. And then you get into all the juicy goodness, get into all of the lovely sweetness that is contained within that pineapple now pineapples are so good as antioxidants they're amazing cleansing fruits and um, I used to work in a Chinese restaurant years and years ago when I was um, 17 years old 16 years old and the Chinese family who ran the restaurant they always used to eat some pineapple after they had finished their meal and they said it was really good for breaking down the fat and um, there's a lot of really important enzymes in the pineapple. So this is a, a, a very good way of detoxifying and, and it's kind of a, a message to you to detox anything. So we're still filled, brimming with this full moon energy. It's just because the moon was full a few hours ago doesn't mean that it's over. You know, it's still very bright. Did you see the moon last night? Were you lucky enough to see it? Because I was driving back from Ikea with my daughter and she went, oh my goodness, have you seen the moon? And it was almost like this yellow colour that's on this little pineapple. It was breathtaking and it was huge in the sky. So I felt very blessed to be able to see that. And like I said, you know, just because the moon has been full and, you know, it's still very full, it's still got plenty of power in it. And um, I'd say for like 48 hours after, it's still doing its work in your life. And it's like a magnet, it's bringing things up for you to, you know, inspect and then release. So lots of releasing to you, pineapple people, and lots of cleansing, clearing, a bit of bitterness but then lots of sweetness coming from that so soak it all up it's going to have a really good positive effect in your life all right so let's have a look at your flower therapy card and um, let's see and you have the sweet pea aren't those beautiful look at them they're like little fans it's like you're fanning fanning wishes into your life and it says your wishes are coming true with the sweet pea what your heart has been longing for is getting closer every day and you know with this message and the combination with that and the cleansing of the pineapple it feels as though you have to be strong sometimes we've got to be strong enough to say no to things to reject things to say well i'm cutting this out of my life i'm getting rid of the toxicity i'm having a sift through and I'm putting these boundaries around myself and I'm saying no or I'm just saying, you know, what have I carried around with me for so long and I need to let it go 
And I can't move forwards until I do because everything is full and I need to create some space in my life for the wishes to come true. And we've got to be brave, haven't we? But equally, equally, this is all about the heart. It's, we have to follow the heart. It's like the yellow of the, the pineapple is the solar plexus chakra being strong. And then when you move up from that strength, you'll, you get your heart's desire with the, the green of the heart chakra there. So... I love how the colours on this card really resonate with that beautiful pineapple. And, you know, you've got to stay strong in your faith that those wishes are appearing in your mind. They are visions for you because they're somewhere your light body is telling you what you want and what you need. So they're not pipe dreams. They're not just, you know, fantasies. They are going to become real. Now, how they become real and when they become real and the, the path to getting that reality is another thing that you're not in control of. All you can do is act on the inspiration from your guides and your angels and your highest wisdom. But just keep the faith. That's your job is to keep the faith and to act, to spring into action whenever you're guided around whatever you're guided to do. So isn't that a beautiful message? I really love that for you. So that was number one. I hope that resonates, my loves. Don't go away anywhere yet because I'm going to have a little message from the Miracle of Trees book. Um, good, good evening to Christiane Cotterill. Hello to Carol Bell. You saw the moon and it was beautiful. Um, Teresa McElhill, good morning. And um, you saw the moon rise in the sky. Amanda shared some beautiful photos in Angelic Circle and you, you had that magnificent experience of seeing that. Um, you love the cards, can you buy them? Francis Kelly, you can get them on Amazon. You can get them on the Hay House website. They are the Flower Therapy cards by Robert Reeves, R-E-E-V-E-S. -E -E they sell those all over the world. Thank you for the stars, Jenny Cook. You are so sweet and kind. You are lovely. Um, now, I shared a, a full moon meditation in my angelic circle last night. And Amanda's saying that you loved it and you listened before bed and woke up this morning feeling so much lighter and ready to take on the week. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. I'm really um, very um, always so happy to, to support everybody as much as I can. Jill is feeling like a prickly cactus today. I'm feeling like a cactus today. Look, so let's get on with the messages, shall we? Um, Louise... Duenkla is watching. Good morning. Sonal Shah is here as well. Laura May is here. Hello, Laura. Okay, let's get going with the ice cream. So this little cutie is asking you to chill, to be chilled, to say that, um, you know, all is well. Look how contented and cute and happy and sweet this little cone is. It's almost oozing love. And I feel like the message that's coming from this little ice cream today is when we chill, when we just accept that sometimes life is frozen a little bit and sometimes it's good to stay in the moment and to just enjoy what's going on around us before we thrust forward and we try and push, push, push things. And it's really important that you just stay and savour whatever's going on around you. And not get really frustrated about the fact that things aren't moving forward as quick as you like. Because the universe is keeping you here for a reason. It's helping you to just relax and to get ready to zoom forward with the next stage of your life. And this is particularly prominent for, for the fact that we're going into the shadow of Mercury retrograde on the 27th of September. We're going fully into Mercury retrograde. It's stationing, um, you know, coming to, to a standstill normally. It's zooming around the, the cosmos. And so Mercury goes into its retrograde phase every kind of, it's about three times a year, sometimes four, if we're unlucky. And it can play havoc with things. It can put, stop things in its tracks. And, you know, we're trying to move forward and it kind of drag in its back to redo things. So it's really important that you um, just accept that this is for your highest good and to chill, be chilled about it. Because we do have, one thing we do have control over is our emotions. We can drown in them, we can surf them. So let's be surfers, let's be expert surfers, let's be like the Beach Boys. I can hear all the, the Beach Boys music in my ears. 
Um, so that is a really lovely message for you. Just, um, what is it? Um, stay calm, keep calm and carry on. And just enjoy, enjoy the moment. Enjoy where you're at right now. So your flower therapy card is raise your vibration. This is the frangipani plumeria. Isn't that beautiful? That flower is just, the, the fragrance of it is just delicious, divine, isn't it? Some of you Australian ladies, you have access to these flowers and I'm so jealous. Now, can you see how this flower has this amazing yellow center? It's, it, the heart of the flower is yellow, it's powerful. It's radiating light outwards and it's raising, you know, the, the white is like the crown chakra, the yellow is the solar plexus. So the crown chakra is all about our purest selves, our highest um, connection to the divine. It's our ability to know that we are part of the universe and that we are stardust. We are an important um, part of everything that's going on around us and we're all connected. And it's that part of you that is always reminded about the fact that you came into this lifetime to experience all these things, the things that you perceive as good, the things that you perceive as bad and everything in between. And your power lies in raising your vibration. So what do we mean by raising your vibration? It's a phrase that's bandied around a lot, tossed around a lot, lots of people use it and they never really explain what they mean by that. And to me, raising your vibration is, you know, um, when you do affirmations, it helps to raise your vibration. And it does that because we might get out of bed in the morning and think, I'm fed up. My life is going nowhere. You know, said no one ever. <laughs> but um, you might be like, oh, I'm stuck. Oh, I'm broke. Oh, I'm bored. You know, all those things. And then that's lower vibrational energy. So it can help you to spiral downwards, especially if you are surrounded by people at work or surrounded by negative emails or negative influences online or on TV and all that kind of stuff. It's all what you digest. And when you step into flipping that over, so if we all do that, we kind of wake up sometimes or throughout the day, we'll just have a moment where we go, oh, I'm so fed up. Oh, you know, I can't cope. And then, and then if you try and turn that into something, a statement that is, I always cope, I always get get through, I am a powerful person, I am a money magnet, I'm a love magnet, I am awaiting my next adventure, my angels are sending me love. You know, you, you've got all, all manner of affirmations that you can use. I've got lots of beautiful affirmations in the guidebook of my Oracle of Wisdom and Beauty, if you've got those. You can just Google affirmations. I have a lovely little affirmation card deck, which has little giraffes on it. So if you have a look on my online shop. And when we read things like that, that is a really great way of raising our vibration because it takes our thoughts and it focuses them on something more positive. Gratitude is also a really amazing way of raising your vibration. So just get out a journal, a piece of paper, even your phone and get to the notes bit. And write down something you're grateful for, something you look forward to, something that you're thankful for, somebody that you're thankful for. Maybe even send a nice message to somebody. And as you raise your vibration, you raise the vibration of others. And it is work. And sometimes it's really hard, you know, you might think, oh, I'm just this person who walks around all, all day being positive in this positive bubble. And I'm not, I have to tell you, I have days where I just feel like, oh, I can't do this, you know, I just, um, I don't know what to do. But those are, you know, I know because of all the things I've read and also what I've experienced that the only way out of it is raise your vibration. <laughs> you lost me for a second there. Um, and not to, to get swamped and dragged down by the mud and all the rubbish. And hang out with positive people. Hang out with people who make you feel good and who help to raise your vibration so that you can do the same. Because if we were all high vibrational... If we were all striving to do that, the world would be a much nicer place, wouldn't it? So we've got to do our bit. So this is saying, your intuitive feelings are accurate messages from the angels. Isn't that gorgeous? So own your power. You are super powerful, even in those moments when you feel powerless, when you feel worthless. We all go through that. We can be on a high and you can think, yeah, look, I'm having a really good week this week. And that could change on a dime. 
that can turn, can't it? So we've got to have these ways of coping, these ways of lifting ourselves out of that. And that's what this page, this that's what this lifestyle, this connection with your spirituality and developing your intuition is all about. It's about raising your vibration because nobody's going to do it for you. You've got to own that and be the be the leader. Set the set the bar high for others to follow. You will lift them up. And how good is that? You know, sometimes we want to moan and bitch about people. And you have a choice. You can either do that or you can choose to do something different that, that makes people feel better. Sometimes we feel better by bitching about someone, don't we? But does that do us any good in the long term? Not really. And it's certainly, you know, the idea of being bitched about by others is just heartbreaking to me. I know it happens, but, you know, if we can all avoid doing that, then life would be wonderful. It would be a lot better. So um, Carol's saying it, that makes perfect sense because your vibration has been low, but you're shaking it off and it's um, doing me no good. OK, no, that's really good that you, you recognize that. Good morning, Nancy. How are you doing, sweetheart? Um, Heather Pollock is here with us. Um, good to see you. Patsy Gribbin. I do like to try and just keep up and say hello to everybody. Tina Jones and Jerry O'Kane is here. Hi everyone. Thank you for the stars, Lucy Blackster. And your shower gel's got frangipani in it, Fiona White. Well, how perfect is that? Good morning to Danielle Bowen, or good evening, should I say. And you've got loads of frangy honey in your garden, Nicole. Jealous. Margarita Jeffries, hello. Hello, Margarita. We can stay with us. It's always good to have you here live. Annie Bro is here as well. Hi, everyone. Dermot Crumley's here. V. Carl is here. Just want to acknowledge you and thank you for joining me. And Vool is here as well. So let's see what the messages are for our cute little cactus. So this was my choice. And whenever I see a cactus, it makes me feel like um, the, um, the song Midnight at the Oasis. Do you remember that? I won't sing it. <laughs> Midnight at the Oasis. Oh, I am singing it. I can't help it. Send your camel to bed. And then she says cactus showing, showing us the way. So I had that song buzzing around in my head when I got the little cactus out. And so this cactus is saying to you, there's a direction coming and you're going to follow it and you're going to have tenacity because the, the cacti are tenacious, aren't they? They've got these thorns on them, those spikes, those prickles, so they make sure that um, nobody invades them. It's a very good protective mechanism, but look, he's still smiling. And um, Laurie said singing raises your vibration too. You see, obviously my angels are going, sing to them even though I can't sing. Um, and the other thing about the, the cactus is that they need a minimal amount of water and they can really survive, you know, in these very, very um, harsh conditions of, of the sun beating down on them is very dry. And when they do get rain, they really soak it up and they absorb it and they hang on to it. So this is saying to you you are hard and tough like the cactus you can survive anything you have a really clear direction coming up follow your heart protect yourself know your boundaries soak up every bit of nourishment that you can hold on to it be a leader and show others the way as well and follow your heart follow your dreams you are worthy. You know, have you noticed how cactus are becoming super popular in imagery and um, and people collecting them and having them? They are very, very cute things, aren't they? And this one in particular is gorgeous. And so are you if you chose this. You're brave, you're wise. You're going to be shown the way to go if you don't know it right now. But when you do take that path, you're going in absolutely the right direction. So your card... Oh, your um, flower therapy card, should I say, is, oh, look at that, the white rose. Now, speaking of high vibrations, did you know, in my, I, I have a, a course, a workshop that's just ready to, you just do it at your own pace. It's called Angelic Abundance. And it's 44 days of lots of ways to connect with your angels. And um, one of the, the most high vibrational flowers is the rose, the scent of the rose. 
it um, is scientifically proven that it vi vibrates at a higher frequency than any other flower. Isn't that beautiful? And we have the white rose of purification here. So this is you connecting really well with your highest self, with your light body that knows why you came here. This is you being high vibrational. Um, Nicole's burning rose incense right now. How amazing. And it's saying by purifying your life of negative people, places and experience, you attain true peace. So know your boundaries. Put those prickles up, you know. Sometimes we got to do that. Not because we don't like people. Just because they might be energy vampires. They might be draining on us a lot. They might be trying to take advantage. And um, we, we've got to be resilient. And go to your highest self. Because your angels and your highest self have all the answers. And yes, Elena is making a really good point. The white rose of Yorkshire. So I live in Yorkshire. And that is the symbol of Yorkshire, is the white rose. In the War of the Roses, Yorkshire was the white rose. So that is fabulous. It's a very um, pertinent message for me. How lovely. Thank you, angels. Isn't that gorgeous? And you know, when I look at this, I could get lost in that rose. I can almost smell the fragrance. It's beautiful. And there's so many layers. There's so much unfolding to be done. That is so sweet. So I hope you enjoyed that message. Now, I got this gorgeous little book. I went away with my friends for the weekend a few weeks ago. And we went to this little gallery and they had these beautiful books. And I saw this book and it's called The Miracle of Trees. I'm pretty obsessed with trees at the moment. And um, I wanted to learn all about them. And so this is a gorgeous little book with all these illustrations and interesting facts about trees. And I opened the page up this morning and found this wonderful piece of information that I wanted to end this live with today. So, ooh, four, four, four stars we've got. That's the angel number. Thank you, angels. They're sending in lovely messages. Look at that. There's somebody's illustrated those. And it's this bit. It says, can a tree feel pain? The plant telegraph system. So I'm going to read the bottom two paragraphs for you. The leaves and needles of a tree are always under constant attack. They get damaged by rain, snow and ice, defoliated by the wind and attacked by parasites. Their suffering, however, is not in vain, for they are shed, decomposed by bacteria and fungi in the soil and then recycled for the tree to reuse once more as new foliage. After a tree dies, it's entirely recycled. Nothing is left behind. Fungi and bacteria in the ground recycle the tree into mineral salts and ammonium. Water then carries the recycled products back into the metabolism of other trees. Potassium can cycle back and forth between the soil and the tree up to three times a growth season. So isn't that beautiful? I feel like the message there is very strongly about any pain that we go through is not in vain. Any tough times are helping you to discover that those layers that you didn't know you had to really help you to um, connect with your, your wishes and your goals and go, OK, if there's a lack in my life, then I know that I want this even more passionately and it's driving you forwards. But it's also about the fact that when you experience pain and suffering, you can help others through that because you get some kind of strength that then enables you to step into your path even more, even more confidently and courageously because you just think, well, you know, that's the worst that could have happened and, you know, I'm going to use that. That's going to be pure gold for me going forward. And, you know, if I hadn't suffered any pain in my life and if you've read my Angel Wisdom workshop book, you will know my backstory and um, some of the really dark times that I've been through. And those are the only reason that I'm sitting here talking to you today. And I go through my fair share of hard stuff still, but I welcome it in because it helps me to grow and um, it helps me to help others. And I feel as though that's really important. So I now connect with that pain as a source of healing. Maybe not necessarily for myself but definitely for other people so that is our beautiful message today and i hope you've enjoyed all the messages i hope you've enjoyed just hanging out with all these gorgeous people who are part of this 
lovely page. And um, my graphic designer, Cassia, was saying to me yesterday, aren't the people absolutely lovely who um, come to your lives? They're just such beautiful souls. And I just said, yes, I'm so blessed. I'm so lucky. And I just want to say thank you so much to you. So I'll be back tomorrow at 11. I hope that you can join me then or you can watch the replay. If I haven't said hello to you, it's either because I missed your comment or because you're watching the replay. But I do appreciate you so much. So thank you, everyone. Have a wonderful day.